Hello everybody out there in quarantine land and social distancing land, self-imposed quarantine, whatever you want to call it. Yannick from CBC's Murdoch Mysteries. I'm coming to you from way up in the Santa Monica Mountains today. And, um, well, I could do one of these really colorful, motivational videos and tell you how great life is and to, you know, keep your chin up and stuff like that. And, um, and I'll do a little bit of that, but, um, Mainly, I just wanted to get real, because I just found out being in quarantine, you know, with your family, cheek by jowl, I just found out that uh, I'm not that funny. Apparently, I'm not that funny. And that's okay with me. That's really okay with me. As long as uh, I can provide for my family doing other things, you know, uh, that, that's fine. Um, but because of that, I'm not going to try and uh, do a song and dance. I'm just going to get real with you. Um, I uh, struggle with um, getting down. Um, I won't dare call it depression because a lot of people I know have a, a, a really tough battle with that. It's very real and uh, I am nowhere near that. Not at all. Um, but I do get down and I do struggle and I find it difficult to uh, keep my chin up and um, carry on. Uh, and, and that's something that I found out about myself in my 30s. and. Um, I started looking at it more closely, and one of the things that I found out that helped was to get out in nature and to exercise regularly and, um, you know, make sure that it's strenuous and, and make sure to tap myself out and get those endorphins going and, and all of that and to enjoy nature. And so um, that's what I'm doing today. And I want to tell you about one of my favorite, favorite places to do that. It's a trail in the Santa Monica Mountains, forgive me, I keep touching my face, but I have seasonal allergies, you can see by my eyes here, Se seasonal allergies, and it's it's pretty bad right now, every kind of pollen, so <laughs> I don't want to go to the grocery stores anymore and cough and blow my nose and clear my throat and stuff like that, I don't want everybody to think I'm, I'm sick, because I'm not, um, and I also, uh, I was just wearing gloves up until a couple minutes ago, because I am, uh, I'm on a bike ride. Um, this particular trail you can access either by hiking or I took the long way around. I took a one hour bicycle ride all the way around and up. And um, I find it easier to access that than to try to climb all the way up. And then climbing down by foot is, is dangerous. I think um, it's really difficult on the ankles and knees and i um, not really built for that. So this is how I do it. And this is called Payuma. It's got lots of different names because it starts in one area, it finishes in another, but the bulk of it is called Payumi because that's where it ends and that's what we call it. Uh, it's got lots of incredible things to look at here. Look at this huge, huge sandstone wall, sedimentary rock wall. And a lot of people come here and they climb and they do all kinds of things. It's got lots of wind blown holes and all that sort of stuff. But the thing that I find the, 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 the most fascinating about it is all of these volcanic rocks that are embedded in the sedimentary rock. So what used to be, what used to be sand. Um, so you've got these volcanic rocks that are millennia old. They were rolling around at the bottom of some body of water at some point. And now they are 3,000 feet up in the air on top of a mountain buried in sand, which is now rock. I find that absolutely incredible. Now this trail has so much to offer. It's like a huge amount of amphitheaters inside of amphitheaters, all kinds of wild stuff. I came through here one time and somebody had suspended a rock, excuse me, a, a strap from there all the way across to there and they were walking like a tightrope slack line kind of thing tight slack one of the two i don't know that world but um, it's a pretty incredible place and this has all sorts of, of biodiversity it's incredible you go through all these little microclimates um, you go through here and there's these huge red rock formations sedimentary rock very scraggly bush a lot of um wild thyme and oregano and I don't know what you want to call it. Um, poison oak, got to watch for that. And it's very sandy and um, very dry. And then you get a little further down and there are these 
huge domes of rock that you could go right through. And there's people uh, that have put in steps. So you can see some, some steps sort of there. They're a lot of fun to come down on your bike, let me tell you. You gotta really be on your game. And then there's also these riverbeds that you go through and it's all damp and beautiful and lush and there's 100 foot tall trees, um, mostly eucalyptus trees and, um, and there's oak trees in there as well that create huge uh, shadowy areas. Anyway, it's just super beautiful. So that's what I'm doing to fight the doldrums um, while I can. Um, I'm being sure to watch the news, um, all of the notices for the area and uh, being safe. And I come out early on weekday mornings when there is absolutely no people. I saw six cars on my way up here and nobody on this trail. So uh, I figure that's as good as it can get for now. It's a lot better than going to a grocery store. Anyway, I hope you're being well out there. You're being smart, you're being safe and you're keeping your spirits up. And uh, if that's difficult, just get outside, um, bundle up or scarf up or whatever you need to do. Get outside, get your spirits up. All the best.